You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more of Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we are just leaving Udina's office on the Citadel. And we've been reinstated as a Spectre. And I believe that this is the Spectre quarters. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to lodge a complaint that I've had about this third game in Inspectors. Okay. They're, they're supposed to be... I mean, this Citadel is the hub of all civilizations and species and stuff. Why is Commander Shepard the only Spectre here? I mean, surely... Surely there should be another Spectre or two... That, that are using this facility. All right, so Spectre Terminal, welcome. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. If it, oh, it is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Quarian Fleet Intel. Quarian Pilgrim Genvolan Narnima on the Citadel ret retrieved a large credit transfer from the fleet. Genvolan purchased tech, including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several ship service centers on Ilium. Another Corian pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with Gath. And as you may recall from Mass Effect 2, they were preparing for war with the Geth. Okay, what else have we got? Spectre Requisitions. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Assault Armor. This is what the, uh, I think the Cat, what do they call them? Cat 5? I know that's like a, a network cable. But anyway, that, that group from... Uh, the Citadel DLC? Is this the armor that they wore? It looks like it. So, I don't know how you pronounce it. The Garmer. The suit was intended for heavy assault marines who were typically the first to engage heavily armed pirate and slaver strongholds in the Terminus systems. Powerful neural links and servo motors enhance the user's strength, while sophisticated VI systems constantly maintain a steady stream of chemicals that accelerate the body's healing process. Unfortunately, the manufacturer was unable to match the Alliance quality control standards, forcing German gunned technology to start selling to private security outfits. So, we get plus 20 weapon damage, plus 15 percent ammo capacity plus 20 shields and plus 20 health yeah this would be nice if i was a soldier maybe even 
a vanguard? I don't know, but as an adept, I'm going to pass on that. Okay, so is there any other terminals? Nope, that one is blank. And in here is, uh, I think these are weapons. You have the shooting range. They put a shooting range in the game. Here we go. What's this? Shields? Okay. I thought there was a way to choose different weapon loadouts. Okay, there is. All right, but we're 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 good to go. We are good to go. It's amazing how he uh, has his armor magically on to use the shooting range and now it's magically off as he exits from the shooting range all right this is the specter hub headquarters whatever and shepherd is the only specter go figure all right is there anything in here nothing yet is he i seem to recall lots of stuff popping up on the citadel but I guess it's just not time yet lots of missions none of which I'm seeing available and then we have Commander, the people of the Al Jelani again and you know we've punched her in the last two mass effects what does she have to say now Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Uh-oh. Not this uh -oh. time, you military- Oh! Oh! You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. People, did you hear the squeaking of her clothing on the glass? As she fell. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here before they try to arrest us. Is this James? You know what? I've, I've remembered his last name, but I don't know why it's not published anywhere. But this is James Vega, I believe. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Hmm. Not your kind of place? I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty. Calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. Hmm. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. Oh, but they will. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. And again, I'm going to commend... Mass Effect, Bioware for the voice acting, voice actors, 
That was Freddie Prinze Jr. that is playing James Vega, who also was the voice of, oh my goodness, who was the Dragon Age 4? The, the Bull, Iron Bull. And to me, the voices don't sound at all alike. I, I think he, this guy is doing an incredible job. So yeah, real they really they really pick some talented voice actors. Oh, we picked up something here. Strike strike abyssal. All right, let's uh, check with Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Let's ask about other Citadel areas. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Let's ask about local features. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, she's still unconscious. People. Golly, let's go. Wow, I didn't know he hit her that hard. Please select a destination. All right, I guess we're headed back to the Normandy. One moment. So we have Caden has been admitted to the hospital. He's being taken care of. Now arriving at docking bay D24. And I don't think there's anything else left for us to do here on the Citadel. I believe we need to head to Palavin's Moon. Oh, look at here. Here's the uh, woman formerly with IGN. I don't know, can, can we just right? leave her here? Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Can we leave her here? Let's see if we can. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyone else to talk okay. with? First deployment is somewhere near Reports say not to Lots of soldiers here. I'll leave vid All right. I am hesitant to get on board the Normandy because I know what's coming next, and you guys are gonna have to grin and bear it with me. All right. Here we go. Yes. Here it is, the dream. I should have looked to see if there was a mod that removed this from the game. Because <laughs> if this wasn't indoctrination, It really was not very appealing, this this dream that no one really could make sense of. Well, some people thought they knew what this meant, but it's more annoying than anything else.
Oh, we lost the boy, people. We lost him. Wait. There's a faint glow in the distance. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Hmm. I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Hmm. Everyone back on Earth. Yeah, I guess seeing the boy die in the shuttle. The boy that could have been some sort of an apparition because when I was talking to him in the duct, when I turned away and looked back, he was gone. I really have no confirmation that he's real. This should have been part of the indoctrination theory, but it's not. Just a bad story. Let's go, everyone back on Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Uh, I was just he leaving. Is, he is now. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Okay, report, officer. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Yes, please. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. 
Okay, that was a lot to take in. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. They're useless. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay. <clears throat> We've got equal Renegade and Paragon reputation for that. And what do we have down here? War Terminal. Okay, War Assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your War Assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Alright, so we have Crucible Assets. Okay. Alliance Assets, that's a lot. Look at this. Oh, the Normandy counts as an asset. Okay, we have the First Fleet, the Third Fleet, the Fifth Fleet, the 63rd Scout Flotilla, the 103rd Marine Division appears to be all. Oh, we have N7 Special Forces. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't finished looking at this. Alright, so there's our total military strength. Our readiness rating is still at 50%. And our effective military strength, it looks like the bar is starting to move. All right, this is this is not bad. All right, let's move through the ship. Is this tech labs? I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hasn't been touched yet, we can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Okay. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. All right, and you, sir, do you have something to say? That's it? Okay. Um... Private terminal... Does all this stuff need to be read? I'm not... I'm not gonna take the time to read all of this on camera. We'll, we'll have to look at this, uh later. Wow, the Normandy certainly got dark. Since it's an alliance ship. I guess alliance likes darkness. Cerberus likes light, for whatever reason. Let's go see our buddy Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Hmm, you're surprised? They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> oh, boy. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Is there anything else we need to check out here? Do want to go and make sure that uh, Dr. Chakwas has moved in, and I guess we need to check out Liara and her setup. So this episode just be reviewing the Normandy. All right, so here's Med Bay, still where it was, and Dr. Chakwas. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Hmm. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Is that really necessary? Have I ever told you I don't like doctors? Oh. Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It a better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. All right, let's ask about her family. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. Hm. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. Let's ask about Cerberus. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. Hmm. Let's ask about medical supplies. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. Hmm. All right, I think that's it. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Now, I think we have some... stuff in here. Okay, we can reassign power bonuses, so I have none at this time. Okay, and what's this here? Reassign powers. Oh, we can do a, a respec. Oh, of every anybody. Okay. And the AI core. What's in here? Oh, that's the Doctor Core. For a moment, I thought it was Legion. This is where he was laying when he was. I don't know, want to use the word captured, but when he was discovered in Mass Effect Two. Okay. So we got that, that. And let's go and check. You know, one thing I did not do... Oh, hold on. Let's go back here into the engineering. One thing I did not do in Mass Effect 2 was go back to the Shadow Broker's lair after we completed the DLC. So, sorry about that, people. Okay, no one here. We had our... Interesting talks with Garrus. And here's Miranda's old office, which Liara has taken over. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. 
When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Thank you, Glyph. You know, I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. <laughs> wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. All right, let's talk to Liara. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. So, did the Protheans finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Mm, all right, agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. It's been years since we were together. Are you still interested in... us? Yara, I've been holding out for you all this time, even passed on Miranda. Yes, I'm interested in you. I didn't forget you, Liara. I want to make us work. Good. I was getting worried. <laughs> there were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Absolutely. Wow, she's finally softened up! Okay, so what? there's another terminal here. I don't think I... The Broker Terminal. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay, well, we're not gonna read all this stuff. Maybe when I get these things cut down, we'll uh, spend some time reading them, but um, yeah, let's keep moving. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network. Okay, so I think we have just looked at everything here. I'm not sure who's in these um, other rooms here. Observation deck. No one. Oh, it just closes the... That's cool. Nice. If anybody wanted privacy, alright, men's room, life support. It's where Thane used to be. Okay. And crew quarters. Alright, this looks about the same. This deck here, I think this was Samara's hangout area. Mm. So here's here's the wall of the fallen. Okay. Let's go and check out engineering. What? It's Engineer Adams from Mass Effect 1? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. 
So, what do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Hmm, why did you refuse? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Oh, 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 yeah, you owe me. You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, sir. Let's ask about Edie. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw it through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Let's ask about the Normandy. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. All right, that's good to hear. Let's ask about Adam's family. Oh, no. Wow, okay, yeah, that, no pun intended. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. All right, carry on. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Yeah, let's just take a look at the fantastic Tantalus Drive. Okay. No tour of the Normandy is complete until you have stood before the Tantalus Drive. All right, so down here is where Jack used to hang out. A lot of the Normandy is still looking the same. Sorry, I need this door. Okay, and the, this is where Grunt was, and that is sealed off. And this is sealed off. Okay, Shuttle Bay. That was not a destination before. In Mass Effect 2. Now we can come down here. And here's our weapon bench. Oh my goodness. We got a robot dog. Yeah, I... I 
think this may have been part of uh, EGM. I didn't specify that I wanted a dog, but here's the dog. Alright, so who have we got here? Lieutenant Cortez? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. What's the situation? Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? Mm. So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Let's ask about his service record. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident, practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Let's ask about ground vehicle. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Mm. Let's ask about the shuttle. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> okay. Let's ask about family. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, people. A husband. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's ask about the armory. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. All right, carry Keep on. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. Okay, so we have an update on the Hammerhead. And I believe there is some contention that we have to deal with. With Vega. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the castle? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palava. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears> hmm, <throat> I don't need a reason. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. 
You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? <laughs> Watch your tone, soldier. Okay. Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Mmm. Oh! Nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Uh-oh. Tough choice. But it was the right call. You think so? I would have done the same. That's what's funny. You were doing the same thing. You took out the collectors. We never needed that intel. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Mm. Oh! I do. You're a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, loco. Mm, it's Commander. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Oh, 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 okay. Fortification has been unlocked. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I think we've done a full tour of the Normandy and met the various characters. And in our next episode, unfortunately, it's time for combat. So this is Hill. And I'm out.